kani kade ke bate si tv bat pidang pet ye ki khubor ba man kasmi balwan ra ashe phi da orange nisan lom so pho ni fabricat shillong rinkat bat ka bdw international school nomon song lankar ding shillong admissions open now Ringkat lang bakari India Brokaway ki Padma Anung Shangshnong Jokari Bhoy District haka arpun ril trek kolalingkon arajar arpo ki la rakhe ya ka Republic Day ka ba nyau poi snam ne ka jingyo Jokari India ya la ka Jokari ti sinshar hakari kata haka arpun ril trek banai kolalingkon jong snam kat khandai spa san pho ya ka ne ka jing rakhe bala pulong Hamadan NSCA paham CM Nongpo Daki Borsen Shar, Jonka Ripoi District, Lawani Shimada, the Omentri Katna, Rido Kaga Sorka Jilla, Uma Coming One Umban, Ubra Long Ukong San, Harinkat Kajing Dan Lang Jong, MLA Kanopo Constituency, Ba Meral Bonds EM, Ka Deputy Commissioner, Jonka Ripoi District, Kakong RM Kurba, U Superintendent of Police, Karipoi District, Uba C, Serti, Kihe Officer, Nakitna Repair Pair, Bat Ki Padba, Kiblawan Bansaki, Hakanikasni. Hadian ke jingat parit jong ki khana school bat ki pulet la pun bot ru da ka jing pen inam ya kita bot bala pen kreat di kitnat sarkar fair fair jong ka temri bhoi ban pen i halor ka jing trekam bat ki skim ba fair fair ha pok kitnat sarkar ba ki pat ba ki de banyo chimentoi Overall internal security situation during the year 2019 was peaceful the national day were observed in the briefings manas and all Social, <coughs> cultural, religious festival were celebrated with traditional fervor and variety. The militancy situation in the state is completely under control. A few militants group have expressed <coughs> their desire to come our ground talk with the government. The government retreat stand that the door are open for dialogue, provided that the groups give up their unlawful activities. The Citizen Amendment Act 2019 was passed by the Parliament exempting the six areas of the state. The state government has passed a resolution <coughs> in the special session of Assembly held on the 19 December 2019 to implement the inner line permit under the Bengal Eastern Frontier Regulation 1873 to ensure for the protection and safeguard the interests of the people of the state. The matter is being pursued with the government of India for approval. The state shares an internet, <coughs> international border of 444.857 km with Bangladesh, out of which fencing has been erected for 329.160 km. The state government is committed to completing the border fencing at Yerdes. Special attention has been given to the development of border areas along the international and the state's borders. By implementing the border areas development program and the interstate border area development program, further various development schemes are being implemented by other departments, including improvement of road connectivity, livelihood, community facilities, playground market stalls, students, and scholarship. Extra. The state government has placed the sustainability and environmental conservation at the center of its development efforts and a number of initiatives have been undertaken such as the county-led landscape management project and Meghalaya livelihood and access to market project with an externally aided project funded by the World Bank and respectively, besides two other important EAP <coughs> proposal names, the Megala Integrated Transport Project and the Community Forest Management Project are in the pipeline. These EAP will also address livelihood opportunities through sustainable development. The state government has also taken up the integrated natural resources management planning in all the villages with special emphasize on the restoration of land and rejuvenation of water bodies, which will help in conservation and optimum utilization of natural resources of the state. Meghalaya has also become the first state in the country to formulate the state water policy 
for better management of water resources and ensuring long-term water security and equity. Our human resource in, <coughs> is the most important asset of the state. The government is aware of the importance of education and this is reflected in the expenditure spent on education. Government is focused on improving access to education and improving the quality of education. There is a big gap between demand and supply in the number of seats available for different to pursue secondary and higher secondary education in the state. To bridge the gap, the government is in the process of setting up a Columbia model residency school, EMRS, in all the blocks of the state. Recently, the government of India, under the Ministry of Tribal Affairs, sanctioned 11 numbers of EMRS for the the central government is planning to sanction another 25 such schools. The state also intends to set up its own residential school. This initiative has the potential to bring about transformation in the quality of education provided to rural boys and girls. In higher education, two new model degree colleges have been sanctioned at Pantorkwa, Ribhoi and Rongjeng East Karwal. Approaching the saluting dais first is the contingent that is the Ripoy District Executive Force Nongpa, Nongpa, beg your pardon, led by BSIRS Hajong, followed by the 6th MNP Battalion Umran, led by ABSI R. P. Kachari. the heels of the 6th Battalion, we have the NCC Cadet Boys and Girls from Oxidium SS Maltino, led by Mr. Pinjablang Maulong. The next contention following the salute you are the boys and girls, that is the Green Boy Scouts and Guides, led by Mr. Vikash Rai. Followed by the boys and girls from Christian High Secondary School, Longpo, led by Ms. Mika Rumno. The contention approaching the saluting dais are the boys and girls from RPP Sinat English Secondary School, Longpo, led by Ms. Nabri Shabong. They are followed by the Nepali Secondary School Nongpo Boys and Girls, led by Ms. Mr. Rohit Kumar. Next up, we have the Alpha English High Secondary School Nongpo Girls, led by Ms. Dayawanki Shilla. The contingent approaching the dais now is Alpha English. HSS Nongpo Boys, led by Mr. Dheeraj Rai. And next we have St. Paul HSS Nongpo Boys, led by Mr. Marcus Mukti. is St. Paul HSS Nongpo Girls led by Miss Julian Linkhoi. Which is followed by RBP Khasi HSS Nongpo Boys and Girls led by Miss Yahun Lang Kharbani. And the next contingent approaching the dais is JMD HS as Nyambari Boys led by Mr. Umil Shah Nongpo. And the next contingent is JNMD HS as Nyambari Girls led by Elisha Nongtri. And now we have Morning Star 
benches, school boys and girls, led by Miss Timshan Lenniksha. And finally, the last contingent, which is St. Paul HSS Nongpo Band Platoon, led by Mr. Anup Roy. Varieties of fish species thrive in these water bodies. People of the district are famous for using many traditional indigenous fishing gears to capture and harvest fishes. The tableau, presented by the department, depicts some of the traditional methods of catching fishes, generally practiced by our people, which are widely prevalent throughout the district. The theme here is that in order to sustain this traditional culture, we should take due care to maintain our resources, that is our water bodies.
77 Alpha Higher Secondary School, Nampur. Kadungu Paul May. Second prize, social forestry. And 